What's good people, welcome to another fresh video guys. So Tyler one just busted out the Wukong and I was like, hey, I have to react to it. As a Wukong main, I have to, okay? So the name of that video, Tyler one top lane Wukong new main, actually. He's considering to main actually the Wukong, so um, this video will be very interesting to see how he plays Wukong and yeah, I will judge his gameplay style in general on Wukong and see if I can, can correct some mistakes here and there. The link of that video, of Tyler One's video, as always, will be in the description box, guys. If you want to check it out by your own, just check out the description box and you will be good to go. And also, before we hop right into that video, guys, I uh, have a new future on this channel, which is the Notification Squad giveaway. So, in the first hour, whoever watches my video and clicks my video will get a chance to win a 1350 RP skin, guys. Okay, so... so Three people will have the chance to win this if they make it within one hour after I release the video, after I have uploaded and published my video, will get the chance to win 1350 RP skins. So that means the Psyops, Psyops, is this how you pronounce it? Um, the new skin line is of course included guys so you can pick up one of these skins. The link is right now in the, in the comment section, it's a Twitter link. And we'll get you to another Gleam uh, link, okay, guys? So if you want to participate, hey, go ahead. If you are too late, however, if you are too late, guys, um, this is because maybe you didn't turn on notification, okay? So what you have to do is like to click the bell next to the subscription uh, button and then press all, okay? And you are good to go. Because if you only subscribe to my channel, you will never get any uh, notifications, okay, if I release a video. You will not get notified. You only get notified if you uh, turn on the bell. So it's really important to turn on the bell if you want to participate on these giveaways. Um, every three or four videos, I will put a link in the description and in the comment section for my uh, notification squad. Okay. With that being said, though, let's hop right into that game and see how Tyler One performs on the Wukong. If he misses his axe, I win. Level 2, let's go. He can kill him. Oh, kind of looking close. Not gonna lie. I wonder I have if... missed every war today. <laughs> what is that war, man? <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Dude, what are, what's going on with my wards? That's happened every <laughs> single day today. Or every game today. I've missed my ward. What the fuck is going on? We gotta check the roots after, okay? After the game, after the video, we gotta check his roots and see... Uh, I mean, after the, the his video, we're gonna check the runes. Uh, I wonder if he would have uh, taken uh, W second instead of Q. I think he would have had a better chance to actually win, because uh, with Q you can only Q once in the whole in the whole one v one. So I think decoy going for decoy in, uh, on level two would have been the better choice here. I wonder if this. I have missed every ward Would today. be the way to go. However, let's skip to the next one. So we got here a situation. He's getting ganked. Luckily, this video is edited nice. already. I, still, I gotta be careful for the jungler. Oh, let's go. So let me go ahead and, and, and show you something, guys. For the jungler. So... Um, you don't have to necessarily like like um, engage on someone, especially if you are engaging into these minions, because these minions will just uh, attack you. What you have, what you can do instead is, without taking any uh, minion aggro, is look at this minion over here. Okay, it's really low. You can kill it with E. So what you can do is, you can simply uh, E on that minion, and one of your clone will actually do magic damage on Olaf. Okay, one clone will travel to Olaf, so you don't have to really attack him. What you can do is like E on this minion, one clone will travel to the, 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 the Olaf, and then you can just Q him and just walk away. Okay, without getting minion aggro. Okay, so this is what you can do instead of like E on him and auto attack and Q. Okay, because you will take some damage from the minions. As he does here, right here, you know, you see that? So he's taking minion aggro. You can see that by this little sign over here, okay? 
Uh, you can see that by that he's taking minion, minion aggro, so they are about to attack him right here because he eat and, and auto attacked and yeah, if you do That's that, so weak. minion will minions like, will just attack you. So boom, there it is. So he took like three auto attacks from the minions. So there's the king coming in, has right deep, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, baby, let's go. Let's fucking go, Woo! man! Okay, I like Monkey Man! Yeah, you better like the boy! That's what I'm saying, man! That's my champion, dude! That's God my champion! Manning him since he's dude, dude! Smack the shit out of the fucking heads with my Hell cat. yeah! So like let me just Monkey go. Man. Let me just go back and, and rewatch that. So what he, you can see by that that uh, Tyler One is a uh, good player because. Uh, most of the people they just run away okay if they get ganked but actually guys if the jungler ganks you okay you can just all in on this jungler especially if um, your opponent is low like you will see in a bit especially if he's low like this Olaf right here okay so you can see all of his like 300 HP okay he, he cannot contest so he cannot follow really the, the, the gang so what happens here is Ken comes in and he just leaves his decoy right there so decoy can just uh, assist him and do some damage. Boom. We get some auto attacks off. Right there. And there we go. And I like how he's moving, okay, between his auto attacks. Because this is really important because... Don't forget that the more you attack someone, you will stack up your passive. And you, your passive, if it's fully stacked, will super heal you like you can see here at his health bar plus 12 plus 12.7 so that means uh the longer you stay away from any auto attacks from the from the enemy you will heal at this time okay you kind of like uh delaying damage and healing yourself so this is what he, he's doing right here so he's giving his passive time to heal him actually look at that he's moving he's moving so all of has to move as well and at that time where he's moving, actually his passive is healing him. So really smart, man. Okay, nice, go dude. For, I for the Maybe next like clip. Ultimate? Holy shit, I was fucking free. Bump. Yeah, and right now this this guy's like easy smack. GG, let's go. GG. That's all. Easy. Over. That's easy. Over. Let's go. Free B. He's That's fucking over. outclassed. This champion is so fucking dumb. Hey, no shit Harabe got fucking King of Challenger this champ. No offense to him. Wait a second. It's so easy. I gotta stop right here, man. That Tyler wanna talk about my boy, man, right there. Uh, the thing is, guys, hold on a second. Hold on a second. So, of course, he's looking really OP on Wukong right now. But this is like, I, I'm assuming, low elo. We'll check the elo later, okay? It's really easy to smash, actually, with Wukong and low elo. So, hey... Tyler, please, before you talk shit like that, okay? Get first into higher elo and then pick, pick Wukong. And if you perform as well, just like you're performing right now with Wukong in high elo, hey, I'm gonna clap for you, man. Okay? But if you do it in low elo, it's no, it's no problem, dude. It's like... There's no problem, man, with that. This Olaf's trash? Do up! See? Do the fuck up! I know I'm... In your elo right now. Audience is saying all of the shit, man. This is why you're winning. <laughs> you up. Let's see. Be the wave for attack speed. Wait, my E gives attack speed. Yep. Ah, you trolling. Three questions, Mike. When enemies are cloned with a dash of the two additional enemies nearby, each enemy struck takes 80 months of damage. He and his clone then gain 40% attack speed for five seconds. Yep. I thought it just did a damage. It was a little dash. Oh my god. Okay, we're, gonna, we're just gonna jump forward and see the next situation here. I didn't even know that. This is 40%. This gives me armor pin. Right? Just be in a fucking. Right? Just be doing some dumb shit. Nah. That's like too less. I know it's they have to do more for Wukong, in my opinion. Because Wukong's not fixed. He's actually dog shit, Wukong, to be honest. There's the dive. Oh, I'd have to flash. Just, yeah, uh, the flash was really bad. Damn, I'd have to... Wait, let's go back. So, look at that. 
if you do that like either you full all in means you e and buffer your w you can buffer your w on wukong many people don't know that hey hey cho pedro moreno thank you for the subscription dude hey welcome to the kk army man appreciate you a lot so guys let's go back um you can buffer your w many people don't know that why you travel with the e you can press w and after um after the travel time is over your decoy will just appear okay so many people don't know that so what you can do right here is like you can e and right now he's eating right now right he can press w and his w will just appear and he can just um q and old and your decoy will old as well so you will you will burst him down in like in like a split second okay you can do it like that or you can do it like he's doing it right here he's in in I think he does a, a auto attack, right? Nah, he, he straight goes for Q. So what he can do right here is like E in, auto attack Q, ult, and then decoy out, okay? And your decoy is gonna finish him off. It's gonna finish the enemy, okay? See, you oh, don't have, have to flash. flash. You, can, just, you uh... can decoy out. Damn, I'd have to flash. I could've just W'd, right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck, whatever. I'm fine, learning. He just realized it. That's really good. My blade? He's doing really dude, good. I'm not, dude, I just did a... The problem, I'm saying, there's too much going on right now. Like, I'm I, I'm stressed about the builds, yeah. the runes. It's always, the like, like if, you, if you play a new champion, of course, um, you, you gotta learn him first. And uh, there's a lot of things you gotta pay attention to, to the gameplay itself. And then you have to think about how to combo the abilities. By the way, if, if you guys new to Wukong... I got a combo video right on my channel, man. Check it out. Um, yeah, and you are good to go. So, of course, if you learn a new champion or play a new champion, it's really hard at the first, at the beginning. And then uh, after you have learned, it becomes the easier. Champion. Okay, we're gonna I'm skip forward here. Is he gonna teleport? He got the cam on the bot lane. He's teleporting right in. Let's go, Tyler Ward. He's decoy in. To close the distance. Wait, why did he decoy? Let me just check it. Nah, you don't have to decoy. Why is he decoy right there? That was a misplay right there. I mean, you decoy over here, okay? You can uh, just jump on these people and uh, keep your decoy, okay? Keep your decoy, ult them. And if they like, I don't know, like flash away, then you can decoy and ult them again if you want to do that. But you don't, you don't teleport and decoy right away because they know you are coming. So what, what's the point in decoying? Okay, what's the point in pressing W here? You will have, you will have the the movement speed from the teleport itself, so you don't have to close any distances here with the W. So there's no point misplay right there. Ball. Ball. Yeah. Dude, the thing that I like on, on Tyler playing Wukong is he's like how do I how do I say that? He's like the right person to actually main Wukong, okay? Because he's not only playing Wukong, he's living Wukong, okay? That's what I like of people if they play Wukong. Because we got some Wukong players out there that just play him. And they are so fucking boring, man, when they play. But Tyler Ward is the right person, man, to actually bait Wukong. Let's go, baby. Because he got, he's feeling it, okay? He's that feeling Wukong the champion. So far, yes. but he's feeling the champion, you know? I, it's really bad, but, dude, I'm not playing terribly. We're gonna skip forward a little bit. Oh, that Olaf better runs away, man. <laughs> oh, that poor Olaf, dude. I'm yeah, sorry, no chance, me. man. No chance. He's like smoking this guy. I'm trying to get him to quit league. Yeah. Trust me, <laughs> he, will, Olaf. he will quit league. What I'm doing for you is for the better, brother. You don't He's gonna need kill this him again. In your life. Ult is about to come up. Four seconds. Nah, he's not gonna catch him. Is he? Is he that greedy? Oh, Whoa. Shit, I, to back out. I was about to say. Big! No 
Oh wait, why does it? Yeah, let me just go back here. Ding. Let me just go back here. So we got a couple mistakes here. Uh, but my coming. boy. So the thing is, um, he's low on mana first, okay, half mana, and then he's engaging on uh, Vladimir, who's having a big HP bar right there and can just heal back. So I would not engage on him. I would rather lo look for the squishies. So we got him. And then he backs out. Then he goes back on uh, on Vladimir without using his uh, combo correctly. So he just eat in and then straight after used his ult. So instead, instead of like using his E ability, go in with the E, auto attack, uh, I mean E, auto attack, and then Q, and then ult, okay? This is the combo you, you, you gotta do, okay? To, to uh, put out the max damage. So instead he's doing like E ult. He's, at the, he's just knocking them up, so he's not doing any damage right there. No, oh, wait, why does it? Whatever, it's worth. Um... Also the thing is, he engaged when he had uh, decoy on, on cooldown, which is also a bad thing, you don't want to do that. You want to always keep decoy right there to like um, go deeper into that team fight or just decoy out of that situation. So either you go deep to like hit the backline with the decoy, you just E in and do your whole combo, ult them. And if you, the second you realized, okay, the ADC is a little bit, is even, um, is even behind them, then you just press press W again, just walk to the ADC and press ult again on the ADC. This is how you wanna do it. Cause this way you will knock up the team again, the front line. And you will actually get to the back line and probably kill the ADC. Why does it take so long? By the way, I'm going to release a video on that one, okay? How to teamfight with Wukong will come up, uh, I don't know when. <laughs> but I will, I'm will. i recording right now. I'm recording all the footages. I'm, I'm preparing all the footages for this video. So definitely subscribe to that channel. For my R, my second R to come up. Can I cancel my first R? Yep, let's just skip forward. Uh, my place is at the top. True. I think it does that's pretty much the game right there, isn't it? Hawk! Right over the fucking head, bitch! Right on the head. Ooh, we got a team fight. You can kill them all, dude. Yao can kill them all. He's always using his deco really bad. This like separates a good Wukong from a bad Wukong, the decoy right there. The way you combo actually... What? The way fucking you combo the ability. No! Let's go. But he is... That was fucking so clean! It doesn't really matter how to combo... He, it doesn't really matter how to combo Wukong in this gameplay because he's super ahead and this might be super low elo. He's What's like getting going, away... Dude, I like Wukong. He's getting away with that. Talk a lot. Game's over, yeah, game is over, I think. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Clean, dude. Actual top gap. Top gap. Clean, bro. So, yeah, I think that's the video, guys. Let me just uh, check the runes and show you the runes he used on that one. So, he went for uh, precision first. You can see Conquer, of course, and, and Triumph and uh, Alacrity. Then we got Last Stand. And on the second tree, he's, he went for some tank shit right there. And we got some uh, attack speed, actually. That you don't really know uh, need, but hey, okay. I would recommend to go for adaptive force instead of attack speed on Wukong. Because you get attack speed from Alacrity already and from the E. So there's no need to go for some more attack speed. Alright. Also, I'm recommending to go for inspiration on the second tree, to go for biscuit delivery and uh, magical footwear. Yeah, and you can use the, these uh, these rules. Yeah. With that being said, guys, hope you're gonna like that reaction, and smash like, smash subscribe, and smash the bell. With that being said, have a wonderful day.